Hey guys, so I wanted to talk about something that is surprisingly close to my heart that I really never thought would be. People talk about valuing experiences over physical things, but I say, why not both? And that's what I feel when I'm signing the physical books for you guys for Everdark and putting in those personal messages and, you know, putting in my nom de plume and dusting off my uh, very unused writing skills with my hand, my handwriting skills. In the 13 years that Wraith Rain has existed, I've launched countless serials and plenty of individual series. I've had paperback books really available for them since the beginning. But really, Everdark was the first time I ever signed a book for a reader. And it mattered to me a lot more than I realized it would. Now, that might sound a bit like, what do you mean? I mean, isn't that the most awesome thing for an author to do is to sign a book? Yeah, it actually is. But I told myself that I get to talk to you guys every day on the site. I get your comments. I get your emails. I get your DMs and all this kind of stuff. So I have this connection with you that doesn't, to me, it was like, you know, signing a book, that sounds a little stuffy. That sounds a little bit authorish and weird. I feel like one of you were all just enjoying these stories that I happen to be the one telling, but I feel I'm one of you. And so I thought that, you know, signing books was, you know, oh, that's what authors did because they had no connection with their fans other than that. But I have to admit there is something about holding a hardcover, especially in my hands, that is really special. Again, I don't want to say I felt official, like I'm officially an author now that I have a hardcover in my hands that I'm signing, because I truly felt that way the first time someone signed up for a membership. But there was something actually to physically hold that represented my writing career when I was holding those hardcovers. And Everdark is truly a story that means so much to me. I feel like it's one of those stories that I was meant to tell. Um, and it feels like a part of myself physically was represented in these hardcover books. Volume four just came out. Uh, the hardcovers were shipped and I opened the box and I dug my hands in and lifted out like a huge amount of copies and put them on the counter and just loved on them. Like, I was like, I love you. And every time, even though this was volume four, it just felt the exact same way when I did volume one. It just felt like, my God, this is amazing. So I have really feel like the luckiest girl in the world, I guess is what I would say. When we were even considering offering the hardback option for Everdark, knowing how expensive it was going to have to be to cover costs and all the other things, the shipping, the handling, me having to buy stamps.com supplies, me having to literally keep these in my apartment. I actually said to Kat and Sylvia, if we sell 25, that will be an immeasurable success story. I truly believe we wouldn't even sell 25. Well, we did and a hell of a lot more since then. And every time I see that someone's purchased a hardcover, my heart flutters a little bit because I'm like, oh, I get to write a cute little message. And because every purchase, like every like, every share, every comment for us matters. I read all of them. Kat reads all of them. We think about what you say. We, I look to see what the, you know, how much, how many likes a video is getting. For example, I go to the chapter and read those comments right away and I refresh the page because I want to see, you know, who's reading and how you're reacting to it. And I know that when you're willing to put your hard earned money down, that means we've succeeded. We're doing something that is truly worthwhile in terms of entertaining you. When you buy from small creators like us, your money is truly going a long way. It not only just keeps the lights on and the butts and chairs, it's the only thing that is going to allow this stuff to be made because Disney isn't going to make it. We talked in the Wraith Rain Insider about what it would take to simply make an anime of Everdark, like just a, a little piece of it. The cost, 
the amount of fans needed and how even something as popular and relatively mainstream as Critical Role with its $11 million fundraiser still wasn't enough to actually create a full series of that. They needed Amazon money. Amazon had to give them money to do it. But there had to be enough of an audience to come to the product for Amazon to even consider doing that. And truthfully, MM Romance, not just what I write, but what anyone's writing, isn't there yet. Anything that you are supporting that has what I would say the Amazon, Disney's, Apple's of the world will never support is considered niche content to them. Niche content, which means that fan-based support is the only way these things will ever get made. We need to make it ourselves or it is never happening, which is a philosophy about why I created Ray Rain in the first place. I didn't think what I wanted to read and see was popular enough to ever get the traditional treatment. And I didn't want it watered down by corporate concerns, as we all know. Save the children, um, bury your gaze, toxic love, all that stuff that seems to permeate the conversation around when there are gay characters in genre fiction even. It's just, it was never going to be what I hoped it would be, which was, for example, James Bond with supernatural powers who just happens to be gay. It was either going to be about how James Bond is dealing with the fact that he's gay and that's just destroying his life. And by the way, he will die at the end in a terrible, you know, alone and he will never have anyone. Um, if that would ever even get made, if that gives you an idea. So I was like, well, if we're going to make what I want to see, I have to make it. I have to put my money where my mouth is. And that's how Wraith Rain was created. So basically, I wanted to thank you guys for allowing me to physically touch the thing that I love the most, which is the stories I write for you. We really couldn't do it without you. And I wouldn't want to do it without you. I don't know how other authors do it without having this close connection to their readers. I find that it's the most life affirming thing in the world. It makes me happy. It makes me joyous. It gives me purpose. So for those of you who purchased a hardback or an ebook or a membership or some of the merch, all of that I cannot thank you enough for. And for those of you considering doing so, please know your money goes to continue what we're doing. Every penny counts and we treasure each and every one. Thank you so much. <laughs>